Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I want to improve this membership site. I want to improve the sign-up process. The registration process is probably the most important part of your membership site, well, second to the content maybe, because the better the registration process, i.e. the easier it is for the user, the more members, the more registrations, the more people you are going to get onto the protected part of the site, which is where you want them, as you will probably be charging for it or at least collecting their email addresses. So here we are, I'm logged out, I'm just a passing visitor and I see the great content and I'm unable to access it. So we want to register and immediately I have this clunky form. I have to enter a username, a first name, a last name, an email address and a password twice. And then I've got to submit my registration, then I've got to pay maybe or access the protected content. But there is a way to improve this form. I'm going to give you my affiliate link for this first, which if you use the premium plugin through this affiliate link, I will receive some money for it. It's robcoven.com go slash WL reg widget. It's the wishlist registration widget. So you can just Google wishlist registration widget if you want. But this is an absolutely excellent widget to use. It doesn't cost much. If you scroll down, you can choose which license you want. If you're only doing it for one site, then you've got to choose one of these three licenses. The more fields the registration widget has, the more you actually have to pay. So if you wanted a real simple one, then it'll only be $19. I actually do want a password field. This widget will allow you to just enter an email address and then your password will be emailed to you. But I think people prefer to choose their own passwords because the password that will be emailed to you will be very hard to remember. So I'm going to go for this $36 order now. So I've purchased the wishlist registration widget and here is the order confirmation and it says click here to access your digital product and submit registration. Let's have a look at the private members dashboard and it's logged me in. It says hello Rob. Let's have a look at the downloads section and let's download the wishlist registration widget pro single license here and also you'll see a license key there and that's very important and I'll show you why when we load the plugin. So let's go back into WordPress and go into plugins and add new and upload and we're going to upload that zip file we just downloaded. Install and activate and you'll see there's another tab here on the left called wishlist extensions. So we choose that and now we have to enter the license key and the username and email we used. So let's get the license key there. Username and email and activate. And there we are. We're in the dashboard. Actually, we don't need to do anything else here because the important part comes in with the widget. So let's go appearance widgets. And here we see wishlist registration and all we need to do is drag this widget in. We'll put it there. So what we have here is the registration form, but it has the ability to make it 10 times more simple. Let's give it a title first of all and call it register here. Now you've got text that you can put before and after the registration form and you can choose your level to register. At the moment we've only got the one level called general. Here you can choose where the user goes after registration and this is set by the wishlist member plugin. We don't have to worry about this. So now we have a choice. Do we want to have to pick the first name, the last name, as well as the username? They have to have a username. They have to have a password. Do we want the password fields? Do we want to display the widget to logged in users? No. Do we want to log in after registration? Yes, definitely. So we'll save that and have a look at it. So let's refresh and nothing's happened. Well, why is that? That's because we don't have this check, display widgets to logged in users. This is the registration form. It's for registering to become a user. So if you are logged in, you don't need to see it. So that's why I didn't check that. But it's a good idea to check it now that we're testing it. So we don't have to log in and log out to look at it all the time. So I'll just check that now and refresh. And here it is. Register here, your username and your email, and you register. 
That's all there is. Isn't that amazing? But the only problem is I think people like to choose their password. So I'm going to go back and add a password field. So in here, we're going to go display password fields and click save. And if we refresh now, there it is. Username, email, password twice because there's a verification. But that's it. It's quite nice and simple. Why don't we check it out? Let's choose a username, Rob, and instantly the wishlist member registration widget has given us a green tick so we know that name is unique and we can use it. Same with the email address. So let's use my Gmail, get a green tick for that. And with the password, it tells us it's very weak. And it also gives us green ticks as it's checked that the two passwords match. So we know we're all good. So we register now and then we're already in. It's logged in. It says welcome friend. It doesn't say welcome admin. So we know it works. Okay, so I've logged out as Rob and I've logged back in as admin. And if I go into wishlist member members, you'll see that there is our new member registered today. And the registration process is now much easier. The visitor only has to choose a username, email and password. I think that is much better than this registration form which has to have a first name and a last name and it has its own page as well it doesn't exist in the sidebar so I hope you enjoyed that that's how to use the wishlist member registration widget in order to simplify the registration process for your users okay this has been Rob from robcubbon.com goodbye